I'm sturdy like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look your Andy Miller knockers. Money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket engine. Get Okay, so we just stretched out the quarter panel uh, piece that we're going to use. We are going to relieve all of this tension by stressing it down. And then all of this has already been pressed out, as you can see. And all the air is going to the quarter window right here. It's perfectly smooth. I already pushed this out. Now what I'm getting to is this right here. The good part about it is there's less material than there is surface area. So it's getting stretched perfectly into place. Now I'm just going to slowly work with the rest of this rear, rear quarter panel. Get all the way to this. Now what this is right here is uh as you guys all know it's kind of the bane of my existence in my opinion it is the radio i don't use the radio everybody uses bluetooth so i don't know why there's still a radio thing on this but we're gonna have to work around that which is gonna be the most unfortunate part because we somehow have to per perfectly press around it and then cut around this to make sure it fits perfectly so that's gonna be a challenge we're gonna see closer to when we get to it how we're gonna solve it in the meantime i'm just gonna keep working over this quarter panel as you can see just slowly moving it over slowly moving over there's a little bit of tension right here so we're going to relieve it by pulling it this way stick it to the window and then just keep on working with it there's a little kink right there so let's lift it up this is like so calming <laughs> this is satisfying as fuck That's right, leave. You don't belong here. We have pressed out all the rest of this. There's a little bit more air bubbles here, but we can just work these out in a second. Um, nothing too gnarly or that bad. I say that and it just crinkled a little bit. I'm gonna let the heat heat up that one a little bit, or the warm air heat up that one a little bit. There's a couple other ones, but besides that, mainly I just have to do right here going into this, but this is all smoothed out right here. There's a little bit of lining, but all we have to do is tug on this and then we're good. It looks really good. And then just tuck, cut out this quarter window. I almost kind of like it looking like that. But. Okay, so we got the entire rear quarter panel done. As you can see, if you look at the side of the car, it is all done. That wheel is really off-putting, ignore it. But we got it all tucked around on the side. We did do a seam line right there just because putting this all over the entire side is just gonna be an extra bit of material and having to use the door is just gonna be a lot more work. So we, are, we simplified it by adding a little liner there. I know. It's not perfect, there's gonna be a line right there, but I do think for our first drop time wrapping that this quarter panel turned out incredible. I'm undoing this so we can take out the light daylight sensor in the back of the car. Once this is loose, we can pop it right on off. Twisty, 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 boom. Okay, we have the bit off. Now, we pull and I see what comes off. Does the whole thing come off? Oh, hold up. I need pearl part. So we just cut this out. This is going to be the front fender. We just cut out another piece. What we're using is the line in the deck to be able to actually use as a guide to be able to cut pre pretty even squares for what we need to cover. We just cut out the top of the trunk right now. The reason why we're not taking off the, spl uh, the, sp the spoiler is we physically can't. Some of the bolts are rusted and we can get a pretty even seam line. So I took off whatever the nav thing is on the top little bit right here. And we dusted it off. There is still a little bit caked on stuff, but that's just going to be underneath the wrap and underneath the hole itself. So this should be perfect. This piece that we cut right here should be perfect just to overlay right here. Yo, this is clean. We got so much extra. We wanted to make sure that we had, would have plenty just in case. So let's get to it. We're going to take it off and then work from one side, just pull it all the way across and then cut out into this the spoiler where it starts coming up right around here. We got this entire side done. We just finished up the mirror cap as well. It is looking clean as fuck. I'm so excited to get this entire thing done. We have now, we're gonna start on this side, get the front fender, I think the door and then the quarter panel. Hood is gonna be coming up soon. It's not right now, but it'll be coming up soon. I'm super excited about that. I'm thinking about leaving this white in the comments. We're gonna see sooner than you are, but I do wanna see your guys' opinion. If you think that, just a little heat extractor will look good, white. All right. I'm hopping this car, park it up, and then get that corner panel in the sun. It's so much easier working in the sun. Okay, so we finished up this door as well as the fender, which means we have this, most of the side of the car. We have still have to do the corner panel. We're gonna do this in a different strip. The hood, we're still debating whether or not we wanna leave it white. Leave votes, we leave it white. I think we wait and see. 
this side is completely all done. This is all done up here. Hood is not done. All we need to do now is rear bumper, trunk, roof, the other corner panel, and then these little strips right here. But it's very doable. I feel like we can get it done in about a couple hours. So I'll keep you guys posted on whenever we get stuff done. And then maybe I'll start recording some time lapses in here. But I know time lapses get boring after a while. So, okay, so it's almost done. All we got to finish up now is the hood. We're going to measure it up, see what kind of piece we're going to need to cut. And then we're going to take out the extractors. Finish up all the rest of the car. The hood is all done. We It messed up right here and we couldn't quite get it tucked in. So instead, we just went for this design. I'm going to have a right, white lettering. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, check out my Instagram. I have a cool wrap idea for this. It matches the heat extractors as well. I think it looks really good. It also matches the emblem in the front. So now we're doing the last piece to the puzzle. This and the back trunk. And that's it. That's it. It's all done after that. Okay, we're gonna get Boba. The car is almost done. Front bumper's over here. Rear bumper is almost done. We're gonna, when we come back, finish stretching it, but it's all smoothed out. Okay, so this is wrap video part three. The car has been completely wrapped at this point, except for a couple things. This mirror cap has been done. The handles have not been done. The fuel cap on the other side hasn't been done. Also, the mirror on the other side has not been done. Last night, late last night, me and my friend got this done, the bumper. It looks fantastic, but we still have to cut off all the edge right here. So I'm going to be cutting that off today and then also working on some of the other little details on this thing. It's pretty much good, but I want to be able to do that. And then we also have to reassemble the entire car. So like on the interior, for example, I still don't have any, if you can see, I still don't have a door panel back there or anything. So we have to get door handles on this, wrap the door handles, put on the new tail lights, putting on the bumper. And putting this all back together also fuel cap i haven't even touched yet so we need to do some things here and there to make sure that this car is 100 percent ready tomorrow i have the first time ever anyone else is ever shooting my car it is going to be by this local guy he uh has really he really wants to shoot my car which is sick because i have never had anybody else shoot it so it's gonna be exciting yeah, so that's gonna be tomorrow. I'm excited for it, but today we just gotta get the little things done. Get this back together, get it back in working order, and then, and then we can actually hit the road with this. Okay, so I just set the thing in the back. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a Bluetooth, maybe something signal. I don't know what it is. Anyways, we are currently reattaching that. I gotta pop open the trunk, close it by doing the pressure. So now, hook this into here. A little bit rusted, but it'll work. And then plug this this into this, and then we're good to go. It's working again. Okay, that is hooked up as far as the top section of this. It is almost complete. It's loose right now, but it'll trust me. I'll tighten this up off camera. I just put in both of the no one headlight. I washed down this headlight because it was pretty dirty, so I'm just letting this dry up using the sun. And then we'll put it in in a second. I washed down the back of this because it was super dirty as well. So it's got a little bit too washing. Ignore how messy my trunk is. My trunk is, yeah, it, I, I work in it. I, this is a daily after all. So I have everything in here, including all my bits, washers that I'm using, as well as wallet and shit like that. So this is the first time I've seen it with the bumper on. And as the side of the car, it looks amazing. You can't really tell because of the lighting, but it blows to, it all flows together. I decided not to tint out my parking lights in the rear. The reason why is because it actually really blends in with the bright red on the taillights. Overall, I feel like it's looking really good. I have not tinted up here yet. My chute is in the front of the car, so I might not even tint this, but I do have up here tinted. I just didn't have the chance to do it down here. I'm also probably going to try to either spray paint or Plasti Dip this logo, at least black it out. It is really bright and stands out against the back rear end of the car. Besides that, it is all done. And as you can tell, the wrap looks super smooth. Um, there's a little dent, but besides that, it looks really smooth. It looks really good. And I'm happy with how it came out. Slow motion. Come stay the night. We can stay until it's bright in the morning. Got the top open. Come take a ride.